Hello everybody, my name is Rudolfo and I'm studying to get my next license and today I'm here to see how much you guys know. I'm gonna ask you 10 basic questions to help you guys to get your boiler license, okay? And later I will uh, give you guys my best answer. Uh, I'm gonna leave my email on the description so you guys can ask me any questions and if you guys have questions and answers that you guys would like to share uh, I can make a video so first question name two types of Scott Marini boilers name two methods used to support HRT boilers why are HRT boilers slopped to the rear head? What does HRT stand for? What's the difference between a dry top vertical boiler and wet top vertical boiler? What's a water tube boiler? What's a fire tube boiler? List four methods used to classify boilers. Who can appeal the result of a license exam? And the last question, what boiler horsepower requires continuous attendance? Let's see how much you guys know. Name two types of Scott Marini boilers. They are dry back or wet back. Okay. Name two methods used to support HRT boilers. Lugs or rollers or overhead suspension. Why are HIT boilers is locked to the rear head? So there is locked to the rear head, towards to the rear head, to allow for the sludge and sediments to accumulate on that area where the bottom blow off is located to remove when you blow down the boiler. What does HRT boiler stand for horizontal horizontal return tubular horizontal return tubular what's the difference between a dry top vertical boiler and a wet top vertical boiler so on the dry top vertical boiler okay uh, the tubes uh, they extend uh, above the operating water level. So we have all uh, the majority of the tubes submerged in water with some of the tubes sticking out of the water. In the wet top vertical boiler, okay, the tubes are completely submerged by the water. What is a water tube boiler? Water tube boiler has water inside the tubes, which are surrounded by products of combustion. What's a fire tube boiler? The opposite, right? The fire tube boiler has the products of combustion going inside the tubes Surrounded by water. List four methods used to classify boiler types. So boiler, they can be first fire tube or water tube. Okay, you can classify by the direction of axis. So they can be horizontal over or vertical. 
okay? You can classify according to use. You can classify on the location of the furnace, like internally fire or externally fire, okay? You also could classify by the operating pressure, like low pressure boilers, high pressure boiler, or special pressure boilers, okay? Who can appeal the result of a license exam? So any applicant aggrieved by the decision of a single examiner has the rights to appeal, okay? Single examiner, okay? I do not, okay, encourage you guys to appeal, okay? If you guys fail, okay, you guys fail, wait the 60 days, apply again, study even harder, and go again. What boiler horsepower requires continuous attendance? Okay, boilers over, because it could be embarrassed, so I have to add. Boilers over 501 boiler horsepower require continuous attendance. So if you have, okay, two boilers connect together, one boiler is 110 horsepower and the other boiler is 400 horsepower, where they are connected together on the same header. So there will be a hundred, 510 horsepower. So that's a continuous attendance, okay? I work in a place before that they have a nine horsepower just for one machine, okay? And a totally separate boiler for the other machine, not on the same header, not connect together, so then you cannot keep adding, okay? So, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, share the video, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. That will help a lot. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.